Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. UK is giving 2400 work permit to Indians and today we will discuss if you are eligible for this, how to apply, what documents are required and how much will be the total cost for all of this. So stay tuned and watch till the end. My name is Priyanka and I make videos about study, work in Germany and all the other countries in Europe. So make sure to subscribe before watching this video. The name of the scheme is India Young Professional Scheme. This was from the partnership between UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This came out back in October 2022 and I had made a detailed YouTube video about it. Uh, you can go and check out here about all the el eligibility criteria and how you should prepare, what are the risk factors that you should consider before moving for this scheme and all the details about what is this program about. If you get selected, you will get a two-year work permit for the UK. You won't need any IELTS or job sponsorship. You can move uh, without a job offer and you can stay in the UK for two years. But the main criteria is your age. If you are between 18 to 30, only then you can apply for this. So after two years, you have to return back to India and you cannot stay there anymore uh, under this scheme. So if you get a separate job there while staying there and they are ready to sponsor you, then you can stay there on the basis of this other job, which is not relevant to India Young Professional Scheme. Now let's go through the eligibility criteria for India Young Professional Scheme. To be able to participate, first criteria is that you should be an Indian national citizen whose age is between 18 and 30 years old. So only if you have an Indian passport and your age, age is either 18 or anything up to 30 years, then you can participate. If you are 17 or 31, then you cannot participate. Number two, you should be at least 18 years old uh, on the date that you plan to travel. So you can start your application when you are 17.5 or 8, but um, ideally 17.9 because the date of application and selection has one month gap. So if you are 17.9, then you can apply for it, but otherwise, no, uh, otherwise you will be considered a minor and you won't be selected. Then you have a qualification and bachelor's degree level or above. So you have a degree which is at least bachelor's. So level 6, 7, 8 means level 6 means bachelor's degree or vocational degree or uh, bachelor's degree with honors, without honors. Uh, 7 means master's and 8 means PhD. Then Next criteria is you should have 2530 in savings to support yourself. So this is just savings which you can show as bank statement. How much is this money? It is around 2.5 lakhs Indian rupees. So I would suggest that don't show exact 2.5, show more than that. Show at least 2.60 or 3 lakhs even if you have because if you have lesser money, there are more chances of you getting rejected. But if you have more money, you won't get rejected then you do not have children under age of 18 who live with you. This is very important criteria because most people who are nearing 30 do have children who are under 18. So if you have any children who are under 18 who live with you or who you are financially responsible for, then you cannot travel or you cannot be eligible for this. So let's check what these frameworks are. This is level 6. You can always go to this website and check what it means. It's here. You just have to type it in Google. Level 6 means degree apprenticeship, means vocational degree or something like BA, BSc or graduate certificate, diploma, award certificate, anything. Number 7 means master's degree like master of engineering, master of arts, master of science or even postgraduate certificate counts as master's like postgraduate certificate in education or postgraduate diploma, PGDM courses, which we generally call in India. And the last one is doctorate. So if your PhD is something, you have an award or certificate, which is PhD level, then you can apply for it or you are eligible. Let's go to the next point, which is documents you must provide. So when you apply to this, the first document is valid passport. You should have an Indian passport with you. Whenever you travel abroad, outside your country, your passport is your only document which shows your identity and nationality. 
so if you ever plan to travel abroad get your passport right now number 2 you show this money in your bank account so you can show bank statements with at least 2.6 lakhs or above i would say better show 3 lakhs because the currency keeps changing you never know when it will go higher up so 3 lakh is always a safer amount to show evidence of your qualifications means your degree or your transcripts can be used to show uh, that you are you have studied at least bachelor's or master's or phd so your degree certificates count here then your tuberculosis test result so if you are living in india then you have to show tb test results to get a uk visa and next one is a police report or clearance certificate and how to apply for this let's check for tuberculosis test you can go to this website and all the data is given for india you need to provide a tuberculosis test just go to your doctor and get this certificate then for the criminal record check you can go to this website just type criminal records check for overseas applicants government of uk and you will get this page search for india and everything is given how you should apply where you should apply what kind of things you should submit to get this and what will be the average fee so fee varies everywhere and uh, there are also some contacts given but uh, just go to your local police officer police station and ask them that you need a clear clearance certificate and how you can get it or what should you submit to get that one important uh, criteria about evidence of your qualifications that is your degree is that your college or university will have to provide written confirmation that you completed your study or graduated within the required qualification next part is process so how does the process look like the first step is apply for the ballot to apply for the ballot you have to go on the website and uh, send all the emails with all the documents that are required and the cost of this is totally free you can directly send an email after that once you apply you will get the result in 2 weeks so the first ballot begins on february 28 and 2 weeks time is approximately 14th march so you should get the result if you are planning 28 march up to 14th march in this period keep all your visa documentation ready and your money ready for visa and just check everything is right so that you don't waste time once you get selected then once your result comes and you know that you are successful you can apply for a visa so the cost or visa application fee is 259 great britain pounds is approximately 25658 rupees so just consider 26000 and keep that much money ready for your visa application fees then next part is also once you get selected you just have 30 days to apply so if you get result on 14th of march then before 13th april you should apply for the visa and once your visa is selected you can just move to uk so you'll have to take care of the remaining cost which is the flight living cost in uk finding job all these things you'll have to do on your own so this is a big investment make sure you are ready with all your documents and all the money that is required here now let's talk about how much cost will you require for doing the visa application now let's check how to apply for the scheme so to apply you'll have to enter the ballot the ballot will open at 2:30 pm indian standard time on 20th of february which is just in 2 days and uh, you can enter at any time when it is open so the ballot is open only for 48 hours between 2:30 pm 28 feb and 2:30 pm 2nd march link to enter this will be on the page so while entering the ballot if you are indian citizen then you must provide these details so you will have to send an email the email will be updated on the website on 28th of feb so just be on the watch for the email 
and until then just prepare a draft email with all of this data which says what is your name your date of birth passport details scan or photo of your passport phone number and email address they will pick random entry so this is like a lottery and within two weeks you will get the result and if you get the result you should be able to pay the 259 euros of 259 pounds of visa fees so what if you are successful there are just 2400 visas available for the february slot so if you're successful you can apply for visa within 30 days and if but for some reason if you're not able to travel even if you're selected you don't have to notify them you can simply drop out anytime and for the people who will not be selected in this ballot the results are final so you cannot write to them that i was not selected please consider me they will not consider you all you can do is wait for the next ballot which is in july because you can enter the future ballots if you're unsuccessful so for next to that, prepare better, show more money, uh, upskill yourself and apply again. One more important thing is that you must travel to UK within six months of applying for your visa. So if you apply your visa on 16th of March, then you must arrive in UK by 15th September. Because UK visa generally comes really fast, like it takes two, three weeks for the visa to arrive. See, they have written. The decision to get visa is three weeks like i said how much will all of this cost for you so first fee is the visa application fee which is 259 pounds or 26,000 rupees second fee is a healthcare surcharge of 940 british pounds is approximately 93,000. so you can consider 94,000 rupees so keep one that just keep more money because this is just a tentative uh, conversion of the rate right now it can increase or decrease by the time you apply for visas and just keep more money next you have to prove that you have 2530 in savings so in your savings bank account if you keep at least 3 lakh rupees um, and show the bank statements one important point is when you pay all of this money the visa application fee which is 259 pounds or 26,000 rupees will not be refunded if your visa is rejected. Then how long can you stay? You'll be able to live and work in U UK only for 24 months. So not more than two years. And you can enter UK at any time when your visa is valid. Also, if you are 30 and you apply and after your visa you turn 31, you can still stay in UK as long as your visa is valid. So it does not make you ineligible because you already selected and you have the visa. Next important topic is what you can do and cannot do under the scheme. Number one, you can study. So for some courses, you need academic technology approval scheme certificate, but you can definitely study. You can work in most of the jobs in UK and you can also be self-employed and set up a company. So you can have your own business but uh, your premises should be rented you should not own them so you cannot buy your company property and your equipment should not be more than 5000 pounds and you should not have employees so you can be self-employed self which also means like a freelancer start a single business where you are the owner and you are doing all the work but you cannot start a big company or buy uh, company property or offices in UK then what you cannot do is extend your stay extend your stay so 24 months means 24 months after two years you have to come back to India then apply for most benefits so you cannot access public funds in most of the countries in Europe you have public funds for many things like um, many insurances uh, which are covered in the salary that you receive so you are not eligible for most of them for example some people do not work they get uh, money from the state for their survival so you are not applicable for such kind of funds then you cannot include family members of your application they must apply separately so if you are going then only you will get visa it's not dependent visa 
that will be provided. They must apply their visa separately. Then you cannot work as a professional sports person. So you cannot be a coach, for example, in UK. And that's all. That's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and you gained some value. Also, keep a check on this website because soon you will get the email ID on which you should email your details. And be ready with all the money, all the documents and all the tests that you require so that you can apply on the day uh, the ballot starts. So it starts at 28th of Feb, 2.30 p.m. So be ready on that day to apply, check your internet connection and everything. So all the best and see you in my next video.